Hi, I'm Jean Wells and today I want to show you how to cut these kind of lines without using a ruler and how to stitch them. Oh, and I'm using strips that are approximately two to three inches wide and eight inches long. Always cut with a new blade or one that's actually sharp. <laughs> You'll find that this technique works a lot better. Um, and I always close the blade after every cut. So open the blade and you want to stand when you do your cutting because the pressure will be more even on the fabric as you cut. And just think gentle. You can see that I'm just kind of making a gentle curve. The fabric's moving a little bit and that's just fine. Then I'm going to pull away that piece and the other thing is you always want to think of your fabrics as facing you. And I know we're working with solids and that wouldn't matter, but in real life you always want to make sure the fabrics are facing you. I now pull my left hand strip on top of the next strip and I just barely cover the raw edge. And I want to use this line that I just cut as a pattern to cut the next one. And I'm just going to pull that apart and get my little scrap out. And this is a very important step. You take the strip on the right, you lay it on top of the one on the left, and see how they don't match up? That's the way it's supposed to be. If they match up, do not sew them because you will end up not being able to get the seam flat. When I get ready to start, I like to use what I call bunny tails. And it's a scrap piece of fabric, approximately an inch and a half by three. Um, a lot of times I just use leftover binding pieces and I fold it in half and I'm going to stitch through it just like I'm stitching a seam and I do not lift the presser foot when I get to the end. Now when I get ready to do my seam with my two strips I'm going to make sure the fabric is lined up on top of each other the two raw edges about an inch and a half I'm not worrying about the rest of that line and I'm going to start sewing now, stop, and your left hand is going to hold the top fabric. Your right hand is going to maneuver the bottom fabric, and I will maneuver this half inch by half inch as I go along, making sure I'm not pulling the top fabric. You kind of have a tendency to want to do that, but don't. So now I'm going to line it up, sew for about a half inch, line it up again, and then you can see I'm starting to turn a corner. See what happens out here? Because I have a little bit of a curve there. So I'm sewing that. Come a little further. And I'm just thinking about that half inch or so of the seam as I go along. nose up at the end. And put my second bunny tail down. And I can clip. I'll clip the other one off and then you can see the seam. And here is my gentle curve. And what I will do now is go to the iron and press the seam. You can press the seams in either direction, but I usually like to press them all in one direction. And pressing them open does not work very well, so it's better to press them in one direction or the other. Now you can see our gentle curve piecing. Um, I love this technique. I mean, there is so much you can do with it. And as you can see here on the wall, 
Um, I've just made different samples trying out the technique. Um, in this one, um, I referenced a, just a typical four patch. In the same series, I tried log cabin. So making this more like the center of a log cabin block and then added the strips, you know, around, but tried to create something that was more improvisational. And notice the teeny, teeny bit of green. I mean, you wouldn't think that little bit of green would make a difference, but it really does. Now in this piece, um, I used the same gentle curve idea, and I wanted the feeling of the land behind the nest. So I'm using that kind of a technique. So as you can see, there's many, many ways to use um, this technique. And I have two books out, um, Intuitive Color and Design and Journey to Inspired Art Quilting, and I use this technique extensively in them. Next, I want to show you how to do this little itty bitty narrow insert. So that will be my next um, presentation. not using a ruler. Well, this is Nina, the studio cat, who always shows up when I'm really busy. <laughs>